Oh. Saw it and heard it, and we were just what, like, you know, standing out looking, and uh, thought that that was kind of weird, knowing that the cops were going to be pulling up sooner than later. And uh, sure enough, they did. He didn't open up the door. Um, they were like trying to get him out for quite some time, and uh, it was taking a while. So at that point, we, we got disinterested, went back inside, and made dinner. And uh, three hours later, at least, you know, we see the SWAT truck arrive. And when the SWAT trucks arrive, you're like, all right, shit, you know, it, things are getting uh, escalated at that point. Yeah. And uh, so we we got uh, we ended up going up to the top of my roof, which had like a direct line sight uh, to the place. And they moved the, the SWAT truck to the house in front of the house. And uh, what's up, Camp? And uh, then, um, you know, they were trying to motion him to come out, motion him to come out. Please, please, please come out. We don't want to hurt you. And then they ended up driving the the. Um, the SWAT truck through the front door with like a pile driving arm. And um, at that point, he started firing uh, a weapon back. I mean, I, I believe it was like an AR. It was a high power. It was a high caliber weapon. It wasn't a flare gun? It was not a flare. They shot flares at the beginning. He was not shooting flares near the end. Uh, they started returning fire with non-lethal weapon, with a non-lethal, uh, they kept saying non-lethal, non-lethal. They're shooting a shotgun back into the windows, blasting out the windows a little bit. And then, um, at that point, they reversed the truck back. They kept trying to yell to him. He sounded like he was trying to say something back, but they were like, look, we can't hear you. You know, please come out, please come out. We you won't get hurt. And um, at that point, they were they reversed back and they, they changed the angle of the truck and they were gonna try to take out the window, the front window there, tell them to back up from the window. And uh, at that point, they were driving forward to the window and that's when the whole place went up. I mean, just, Absolutely. I mean, you saw the video. It was. So what's going on through your mind as you're shooting this? I mean, dude, it's blank. Are you kidding me? It's like pure shock. You see that and you're just, I mean, yeah, my wife next to me, you know, my pregnant wife next to me sitting there, uh, you know, my buddy on the other side, she screamed. My other buddy's just screaming, no, you know, I mean, it's just like, there's no real, I mean, there's no explanation to it. I mean, you, I mean, I'm still in shock about it, to be honest, you know, uh, so. Like, like four, when he started when, throwing the flares out shooting back. the flare, dude, shooting the flares over the soccer field onto like George Mason. Okay. So, I mean, it was like guaranteed. I, I mean, I don't know if he was trying to draw the attention to himself. Yeah. You know, this guy's been cooped up for years. All right. So he's closed off his windows. No one's really seen him for years. Yeah. He had a big like dispute with his wife. And like, there's. So you guys are familiar with the man who lives in that home. Never seen him. Okay. Never seen him. Apparently his name's James Yu though. Okay. And, uh, because you heard it. Not, not only that, it's not, well, we, we found out on LinkedIn, on his LinkedIn and stuff, and he yeah. was he was talking about the neighbors, which I do know the neighbors, yeah. and I feel terrible for them. I mean, their house is like gone. The neighbor's house is well, it's a duplex, right? So you have two attached houses, it's like a, you know, it's a townhouse, you know, pretty much, and the entire structure was is, is gone, like like way gone. I mean, like it was. I mean, uh, I don't know what level of you know explosions that he had there. I I believe he probably did the. Uh, like, I mean, I, th I think he filled the entire place up with gas. I think he let, he let natural gas run, you know, either broke a pipe or something, let it run for a while and then lit it. And I mean, there's, there's nothing else that I, I would know that would be able to create an explosion like that. Can you believe you actually witnessed that? <laughs> Hell no. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. No, I mean, we thought, I mean, we thought it was awesome just to watch him, you know, watch, watch the vehicle go. Like it got, that even got escalated to that point, you know, and, uh, to then, once he started shooting back though, and there was not, it was not flares. Like they were, there was an assault rifle being, being so shot you, back. So you're saying shots were fired from police and police. Not from police. Not from police. police did shoot non-lethal. Like, and they kept okay. yelling non-lethal, non-lethal. Okay. And it was from shotgun shells and they were blasting shotgun shells in there. I don't know what it was, but they were okay. yelling non-lethal when they did it. But he would definitely re was shooting a weapon, a, a, a gun back when, when they went through the door uh, with the vehicle. Okay. Um, are you going to go to bed tonight? Yeah, it's going to be a while. How's your wife doing? You're expecting life. She's cleaning. She's cleaning right now. Okay. 
in the dark because we don't have any we don't have any uh, light right now. Oh, all power is out. All power. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a big trans there's a big pole right there with the transmitter um, that went up as well. So, I mean, Dominion's here, so hopefully we'll be able to get something back here shortly. All right, we'll keep it posted. Thank you for coming out. And for sure, the video. for sure. Sorry, it was just a lot trying to get down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, off. I was wondering. I mean, I mean, there's hundreds of people in there, but it's just yeah, all I'm all. Trying to They get it pretty roped off pretty well, you yeah. know. I mean, I've got some neighbors trying to actually leave uh, to try to go to a hotel, and, yeah. like, they can't even get out. Either. Going to hotel? No, no, we'll probably sit tight for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll let you go. I see your phone is ringing. Be safe and keep it posted.